Xbox 360 Minecraft. Just hearing that typing sound makes me feel nostalgic. Over a decade ago, this was my introduction to Minecraft, and I'm so excited to get this started. I will be playing these 100 days on the original Xbox 360 Minecraft, as it came from Microsoft on the disc. No updates, no internet, on a controller, the correct way. Day one, I pretty much just looked around. Everything made me feel old. Look at that lava. The first thing I noticed and remembered is that this is nowhere near as responsive as a mouse and keyboard. I know for a fact I'll get used to it after 100 days, but day one, walking around was a struggle. I also had a few technical issues. The sound would cut in and out. I guess that's what I get for not updating. Against my better judgment, I'm playing this on hard mode, so if I don't find shelter soon, I'm gonna die. Luckily, I just found a town. I'll stay here tonight. I can't build with this decade-old controller. This game was completely rebuilt from the ground up to work on a controller. They did a pretty good job. I'm just kind of clunky and slow right now. I need more practice. I'm very thankful for this village. Oh yeah, very thankful. Check this chest out. Nearly full iron armor. Oh, I need it. Because once nighttime hit, the creepers came out and that could be the end of me. And my thumbs already hurt. This is gonna be a long one. The sweet smell of skeleton immolation marked day two. I nearly died from this creeper because I turned so slow. All right, I'm gonna go find somewhere to sleep. Oh, I need a bed. I got distracted by a cave. I'm not sure if this is true, but it felt like there were way more resources down here. What I mean is I just can't stop finding coal and iron. It's plentiful. So yeah, for now, this is home. Reminds me of when mom would lock me in the closet. Day three, I ran into a weird spot where I couldn't mine. I'm not sure why. And here you see me Googling why. I really should do my research before starting these videos. A Minecraft world today is nearly infinite. We're talking tens of millions of blocks. But a decade ago on an Xbox 360, your world size was capped out at a few hundred. And this is the magical barrier. Caught in the rock in a box, don't mock, real talk, take a walk, get stocks with my big ol'. Anyway, that's probably why there's more resources down here. They don't want you mining your whole world just for a little bit of iron. I was gazing into this cave and feeling somewhat brave until I got to this mine shaft. Yeah, and then I got absolutely sniped by this poisonous spider. Hardly even touched me, bro. Don't worry, I'm okay, but that's definitely my cue to leave. Getting out was a little tough right near the world border, but I am excited to see what it looks like on the surface. I nearly drowned because I came out under some ice. That would have been a terrible way to start this video. All right, so it's just an endless ocean and an invisible barrier. That makes sense. I am absolutely full of loot, but I need a home. This is old Minecraft, so I'm just gonna find a hill and build my house on it. Simpler times. Oh yeah, look at that cobblestone. Home sweet home. Oh, skeletons are dying. It must be daytime. Obviously, I built this place kind of quick, but I do like the area despite the creeper infestation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did did he just say creeper? Looking around, I really enjoy my land, which is good. I picked this in the middle of the night. It's gonna need a lot of work to get it up to my standard, but you know, it's Minecraft, that's kind of the point. But on day five, really all you can ask for is four walls and a door. That, that's home. Part of my standard always involves a wall. I'm gonna set that up today. Technically though, this game has no walls and I looked through the whole crafting menu. Well, I can make a fence. That's pretty much a wall. Doesn't sound as cool. Just imagine this. The Great Fence of China. See what I mean? Man, there's nothing like some flat land and a fence. I really doubt I'll fence this whole area, but for now I'm putting down lights that should keep me even more safe. I built a ladder to the top of my house just to marvel. It's Minecraft, you're never gonna get rid of every monster, but at least the creepers are kinda dumb in this version. Get you a man who responsibly fills his creeper holes. I'm a father of two, I'm spectacular at filling holes. I decided to go on a little adventure today. I'd like to find that town from day one. It was in a desert, and with how big this world is, there should only be one desert. I found an open monster spawner that's so lucky. Skeletons too, that's a good one. And the town was right over the ridge, nice. The world's so tiny, I was able to bunny hop home all in the same night. I was just putting stuff away from my adventure when I noticed a map in my inventory. Yeah, and it was there since day one. I should have been filling this out the whole time. I bet you it's because my brain isn't working because I'm so low on food. I stole from the villagers on day one and that's all I've been eating. Look at these crops though. They grew fast, is that normal? I swear to you, I didn't bone meal any of them and I was able to harvest in the same day. Yeah, things were better 10 years ago. I've decided I've seen the sun enough, it's time to go back to the ground. Ah, oh, it's, it's better, the quiet earth. It's Minecraft, I'm looking for diamonds. You didn't? You didn't know that? Uh, and did you know that only 12% of viewers are subscribed? I just got more iron, and now my only chest has more dirt in it. Positive news is look at my crops. It's only been two days. So I hop back in the mines with 32 bread in my inventory. Oh, speaking of bread, here's an ad. And if you didn't get an ad, don't worry. I'll get you. I ain't sure where to find diamonds, but back in my day, we mined at 13. I am getting redstone. That's a good sign. Too bad it's pretty much useless. Right there, what you're looking at, 
That's all I can make. That really just means nothing will be automatic. Just good old manual labor. Love mowing the lawn, bro. I tell the wife it's hard work, but really I just want to get away. The sound cut out halfway through. Let's go to the next day. Just kidding. I wasn't recording on the next day, so now it's the next, next day. It's a shame, too. I made this bow yesterday, had this great joke planned about having no background check, and now I just look like the fool, because right here the ops caught me slipping. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, no sound today that should have made a big boom. Quick, 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 quick. So, so sorry, day 16 has no sound again. I'd fire my tech guy putting his family on the streets, but my tech guy is me. I do pretty much everything myself on these videos. The only thing I don't do is the thumbnail art. I don't even write scripts, bro. This is all just coming off the top of my head. I could say anything. I'll prove it to you right now. Here's some feet pics. It's real. Bro, if you write me a business email, you don't get a manager. I don't have one. You'll talk to me. Yeah, I probably should have someone else handle that, but you know what? I am the greatest. Ha uh, ha! The sound is back, and I have cows now. How awesome. No. How notable. After that, I went back in the mines looking for my first diamond. My pile of iron's looking lonely. This is Minecraft. And old Minecraft at that. If you want diamonds, you gotta mine for them. Lapis doesn't even have a use, you just make blue blocks. Which, of course, I'm going to do later. Gotta say, though, 17 days in, I am getting a bit faster with crafting on a controller. Here I'm mining, and my pickaxe broke. And fairly smoothly, I got myself a new one. I know that might not seem like much, but 17 days ago, I was fumbling. DIAMONDS! DIAMONDS, YES! Oh, man, there's nothing like that first feeling of diamonds, man. It just never gets old. I made a sword and a pickaxe. I think most of us uh, probably would. 100% I'll have to do more mining, but not today. Today, I adventure. I'm off to find the center of the universe. I should be able to see it from my house. The universe is not that big. Yep, like a minute later, I was there. Zero, zero. So I marked it with some lapis. They have no other purpose. And now I've got a new idea. I'm trying to connect this world a little bit better. It's not that large, it shouldn't take long. From center, I'm just gonna do a bunch of paths, a grid system. It should make getting around a little bit easier. And if I'm ever out at night, it's nice to have an easy way home. Though I will say, with all my lights, my home's fairly hard to miss. I'm just making a straight path, which means all these trees need to go. There's nothing worse than running from your life through a forest. After a bit of chopping, I made it to the northern border. And you know, there's something quite nice about it. Minecraft is so infinite, it never really feels like you could ever fill up the world. But in this version, you probably could. I I probably won't though, I've had a lot of technical issues. Going to 200 days in this would probably kill me. But I guess you could hit that like button if you really want to see it. I'm gonna put lights down all the way. This should make it real easy to find my way back home even at night. Then I went south. I thought I hit the world border here. No, it's just a big lake. This here is a bit of a waste of cobblestone, but I do want roads in every direction. Eh, hey, you never know, maybe I'll use this one day. After continuing south, day 21, to my surprise, I hit a mushroom biome. If I could go back in time, this would be a great place to set up a house, because I don't think monsters can spawn here. But, you can't go back in time. Wish we could. You could stop dad leaving. Out west is the desert. Remember, this is where I found that village in the skeleton spawner. Yeah, I'm sure this makeshift road will actually be pretty useful. I know I'm doing this for safety, but I stayed out all night work and I just want this done. East was the last direction and there wasn't much, mostly forest. Now, straight sprint, I can pretty much get anywhere in the world in about five to six minutes or about half a Minecraft day. It took all day to get to the border, but now I'm done. My world is connected. Hey, that map looks pretty sweet too, but now I just want to complete it. So I woke up early and prepared myself for another day of running around. Imagine mapping out an entire Minecraft world. There just aren't enough hours in all of mankind to do it. But on Xbox 360, one man can do it in an afternoon. For the record, I did not get it done in a single afternoon. I almost got it done, but there is a little patch left. I'll hold that in my heart forever. Hold on, who left a dog in the ocean? It's just sad. Roamed home to get bones for the dog. It's alone. This zone is known. Note the map that I've shown. Hey, Dr. Seuss. I'm back home, but I'm just gonna do some chores. I know this game, that dog can swim there for days. Plus, I ate about half my food supply just making that map. This is what I mean by technical difficulties. Day 25, the Minecraft logo was on my screen. I did not put that in in editing. I'm really glad I didn't update this game before playing it. This was a good decision. All right, enough fresh air. Now it's time to find some diamonds. I'm gonna try my best. I'd like to go to the nether, beat the game, and all of those things, but you need diamonds to do that. Will I find diamonds? Well, we'll find out after this advertising. <laughs> 
probably got you there. But don't worry, I'm still coming for you. No diamonds, but I did do this sick MLG. Ow! You know what? If my house looks like this, should I even be worried about diamonds? Oh yeah, it's time for a complete renovation. I'm gonna tear down this cobblestone house and turn it into a new, bigger cobblestone house. Then I'll rent it to some villager for way more than it's- Oh no! No! Oh, no! no! Oh. I'm so sorry, dog. I didn't mean it. I'm also sorry that rotten flesh is all I have. It still loves me. Foolish. Before you say anything about my construction, remember that I have about six different blocks to choose from. There isn't even carpet, I had to put down whole wall blocks. Ah! Interior's now done, it's time to roof, which in old Minecraft is terrible. I'm just gonna do my best and this broken society will probably tell me that my trash is good. All right, clean up this dirt and that should be it. You know what? It's not bad. Honestly, it looks like a house I would have made in 2010. And like a good one. Yeah, it might not have a door, but I'm still proud. I have real storage now. That's half the reason I even built this. And you gotta know it's nice to have a personal bedroom. Started off day 29 by slaying a family of inbred cows. Then I decided to make my compound a little nicer. Added steps so I'm not constantly jumping around. I've needed a staircase down the hill since I built this place, and now I've got one. That beats basically jumping up a mountain whenever I want to go home. Cleared some more forest around my land too with fire. It's efficient. Then I did some more work on my roads. Somehow the one right by my compound has the worst condition. While I was out, I hit up the village and stole some bookshelves. You know, I might be enchanting soon. Yeah, it did get dark, but check out how easy it is to see the line home. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I should be mining diamonds right now. I really should. But I'm going to the nether. I'm just excited to see what it looks like. Eh, it should be fine. Console nether from 10 years ago can't be that bad. Ah, oh, great. Old nether egg. Gross. I was really wondering what the small world nether would look like, and they just did a giant bedrock wall. I thought the overworld was small, but the nether is even smaller. Good news is, finding the nether fortress was insanely easy. It was pretty much the entire nether. So I got to a blaze spawner and started killing them. With no mobs, of course. Okay, Problem. For whatever reason, like 3,000 gas are spawning in the nether right now. I brought 12 arrows! This is not good. No way with all these gas I'll ever be able to go through that portal. I've got to think of something different. Okay, I'm just gonna tunnel my way back to my nether portal. Hopefully this works. Ah! All right. I'm home. Now, with a single Eye of Ender, I'm gonna try to find the end of the game. Being at the exact center of the world might help. Oh yeah, good decision. Now I know the end of the game's in the southeast quadrant. So I burned the forest. I'm gonna need more Endermen, but once I've got them, this should be pretty easy. Ender boys come out at night, so I've gotta find something to do in the daytime, and I have an idea. I'm gonna build a little safe house right by zero zero. It might come in handy someday. You never know. It is a certified hobbit hole, but that's pretty much all you need. Now the sky is dark, and so are my intentions. Endermen are kinda slow to react in this version. I'd look at them for a while and they wouldn't do anything. They are dangerous, but as long as you got a black over your head like I do, you really can't be hurt. The Enderman population was pretty slim. I only found two tonight. At least, that's what I thought when one hit me outside of my safe barrier. And with this scuffed, decade-old controller, I couldn't get back fast enough. And died. Yeah. Yeah. There's no hardcore Minecraft on this version, so I'm going to continue. And sometimes it is nice to play a game of Minecraft where if you die, you just go pick your stuff back up. But it never feels good. Rearranging your tools, oh, shameful. Hey! I had 37 levels. I was hoping to have some enchanted gear soon. Man, it just set me back. I don't normally get this opportunity, but I made myself a grave. I paid myself some respect. I was a good man. Might as well get back to it. I've got an ender eye. One might be enough. Nice, look at that. Found the stronghold. The world's tiny. I thought it might be easy. Well, it's never that easy. I dug all the way down to bedrock and found nothing. The hole's right where the eye pointed. I didn't mess up. This game is amazing. Oh well, I'll try tomorrow. My burrow's not far. I burned out a little more area. Maybe I am doing this wrong. Let's see. Oh yeah, pearl still points right there. I guess I'd better just keep digging. Normally, I wouldn't mine. Duh. But my diamond pickaxe is about to break. Still nothing. Two holes. Nothing. Uh, now I can't even sleep because there's a creeper outside my door. I dug an exit tunnel the other way. I'm not dealing with that creeper. Finally found the stronghold, day 36. Thank you. First thing I did was dig an exit tunnel and put up a pillar. I'm going to try to water bucket down. I did it before in that cave. I think I can do it again. I played an ad there. If I haven't got you by now... I think I'm just gonna give up. You must have an ad blocker or something. Yeah, once I die in 100 days, my value for life plummets dramatically. So now I'm going through the stronghold, getting distracted at every turn. Found a diamond though, so maybe my distraction ain't that bad. I found the portal day 37, which just means it's time for more prep. So again, I dug my way out and put up a pillar. Nice view from up here. You can pretty much see the whole world. All right, this time I'm not gonna water bucket. I put a little bit of water at the bottom of the...
Oh, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna go to bed. After shamefully grabbing my items, I went back home. And into the nether, I've gotta. This time, I brought cobblestone so I can make the entrance safer. But a ghast hit the portal. And I did not bring a flint and steel. I've now trapped myself in the nether. Amazing. Sometimes you can get lucky and find a fire starter inside the nether fortress, but I wasn't able to. So I threw my stuff on the ground and went to go do what must be done. How many times have I died in the last, like, week? Oh, I don't even know. So when I went back in, a big forehead portal spawned on top of my hub. And I was zoning out mining the obsidian when I smacked a piglet. Honestly, that's not too bad. I probably would have lived if the game didn't decide to autosave right there. Yeah, I loaded back into a death. I play this game for money. All right. All right, this, this really just needs to stop. Maybe I just gotta stop taking shortcuts. So I went back in the mine for some more diamonds. I need that diamond armor. Yeah, more unluckiness though. Found a lot of stuff, just no diamonds. Still no diamonds down here. The only thing there's lots of is creepers. I really feel like they should be doing more damage. This one hugged me with iron armor. I probably should be dead. I should also probably stop picking up redstone. It's useless and it should feel bad. Hopping up all my steps feels bad. I guarantee you, even by the end of this video, I'll never fix them. I'm just lazy. Here, I'll prove it. Ah, that was a nice 10 seconds of the video I didn't have to edit. I wonder how long I could go. I think I just found an infinite money glitch. FINALLY! Diamonds! Found him in a little cave here, and five of them. Nice! I'm sorry I yelled, Braxlin. I know how loud noises sometimes make you upset. Sometimes I just get excited. I, I can't control myself. Come here, champ. I'll give you a hug. Just kidding! It was an advertisement! I'm sorry, I have to feed my family. Yeah, nothing really going on. Day 44, just got some of this lapis lazuli. I don't know why it was shaped weird. Sorry to all the colorblind people who didn't get that joke. And now sorry to all of you, because I kind of just made fun of ya. Do I need to apologize to anyone else? Everyone's feelings good? Alright, don't want to get cancelled here. Let's move on. By day 45, I had 14 diamonds, which is enough for a new pickaxe. And 31 levels, which is enough to enchant it. And after pulling my groin and glute, I had some obsidian. So now now it's basement time, I have no permit. I spent a really long time on the entrance down and made it look just so nice. And then the rest of the basement was walled with dirt. Say what you will, it is in fact an enchanting room. So then I spent every level that I have on efficiency four and silk touch. Not really what I was looking for. I wish I spoke enchanting table. Well, I guess there's nothing really left to do but get back at it. Hey, skeleton spawner. I'd be excited about this if I didn't know of one literally on the surface. Personally, I really like pulling out the map for coordinates. It's so cute. I will I'll never come back here. I don't know why I marked it. I hate to be that guy, but I did some mining off camera. I just wasn't recording. I didn't cheat, but now I'm curious. Ah, oh, look at that. I can change everything, even make it creative. That'd make this a lot easier. Hmm. No, 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 no. It's never been about the destination. It's always been about the journey. And right now, the journey involves coal and iron that I just don't need. It also involves this map that I worked really hard on that just got thrown in lava. It was as if... At that moment, a part of myself was lost. Time to drown my sorrow in money! Don't mind my flex, but I got full diamond armor, day 51. And I want to enchant it, so I went over to that skeleton spawner I found. It's really not that tough to make a spawner into an XP farm. The design's real simple, but everything needs to be in this version of Minecraft. And in one single day, it's working. My XP farm. I think I would definitely get more XP if I just went out at night and killed monsters, but that's kind of dangerous. This is super safe. Then I gave it a good test, day 52, and in one day got level 30. That's enough to enchant. Went back home and apparently I spent more than a day because it's basically nighttime. Enchanted my helmet and got respiration three. That's notable. Not able to breathe underwater. <laughs> Shut up! I made cookies. You can have one if you subscribe. At this point, the worst part about this monster spawner is it's all the way on the other side of the world. It takes about half a day just to get there. But for enchanted diamond gear, that's worth it. I wasn't recording for a day. The farm's still working fine, don't worry. But it's just the back and forth between my compound and the skeleton spawner that's getting a little bit annoying. So I'm looking into a nether highway. And it looks like in order to make that work, I've got to cross a lava ocean, which I'm really not wanting to do. So instead, I made a machine that I tested in my living room. I'm gonna try to make the skeleton spawner a little bit more automatic. It's gonna be tough with the primitive redstone. I'd like to point out that this is my idea. And sometimes, most times, 
My ideas don't work, except 100 days, of course. That changed people's lives. After a good day of testing, I've realized that my farm isn't any better. It's actually worse. The lava was supposed to kill stuff faster, but it really just lit up the spawn room and made the skeletons not spawn. But I believe in my design. I'm going to keep trying. Miraculously, it works now. I can beat up these skeletons with just my hand. Oh yeah, the lava kills them, but as long as I punch them one time, I get the XP. The ultimate test is taping down my controller and seeing how much XP I can get in a day of not actually playing. I constantly punch the obsidian, which will never break as the skeletons fall down. I land a few hits and I get the XP. Flawless. Victorious, I set down my controller and went to go have a nice lunch with my family. Ironically, while I was eating food in real life, I began to starve in the game. I really, really should have thought about that, or at least tested for more than a few minutes before leaving my guy right there with all of the diamonds and dying! I would like to point out it was a very nice lunch. Tors made sandwiches. Ooh, they just went down good. By the time I got back, all of my stuff was now gone. I don't even want to walk home. I just used the lava teleportation method. You know, I didn't lose everything. I've even got two diamonds left. Yeah, yeah, just Google Luke the Notable's net worth. It'll say two diamonds. You see, now they're doing it. And they're wondering why I have to include all of this advertising. I went out that night and killed spiders. Do I need a reason? Before I go back in the mine and I've got, I'd like to build a machine. I've been giving redstone a hard time this whole video. I built an auto farmer. I've made several. Nothing's wrong with it. That is about what I expected. All right, back in the mine for more diamonds. Hopefully I don't lose them all in a horrible accident. Again. Oh, cripes, I forgot my map. I just Googled the whitest way to say, oh darn. To my surprise, when I crafted a new map, it came totally complete. Oh, that is convenient. No diamonds, but that map had me feeling good. Hey, diamonds, he said for like the thousandth time, trying to tell himself that it meant something. Sometimes I miss Fortnite, you know, at least in Fortnite, when you die, some kid just dances on your body. In Minecraft, when you die, it's a whole episode. You gotta get your stuff back much harder. Tons of diamonds day 65, but I'm still gonna keep going. I'm hoping to never have to mine like this again. So I'm gonna get enough diamonds for a full set of diamond armor and another. Yeah, I dug so far here, I hit the edge of the map. I took that as a sign to surface. I'm also level 32. I went back to my house and enchanted my diamond pick with fortune three, amazing. Now. We're Every diamond I mine gives me more diamonds, except this one. That's a fluke. Yeah, that's more like it. One became three. And after another day of mining, day 68, I think I've got all that I need. Well, I, I'm a long way from self-actualization, but once I get used to myself and my own company, maybe we'll get there. While putting my treasures away, my house got struck by lightning. Whatever, sleeping just means it's day 69 faster. Now that I'm done mining, I checked my achievements. I need something else to do. And I still don't have the achievement for making a wood hoe. Can't believe I've gone 69 days without a hoe. Please laugh. And I gotta get five dogs. I probably should have been doing that this entire time. I trained him to be aggressive. After that, I went back to the skeleton spawner. Yeah, I know. I know. This is basically a grave for me. This time, I take down both of the triggers. So every time I get hungry, I will automatically eat some bread. This method does burn through bread very quickly, but it worked and I didn't die. The farm is slow, but it is completely AFK. Uh, AFC. So I got level 30 by the end of day 70. Enchanted my sword and luckily got looting three and smite. That's really good. So I went out killing endermen. Primarily for ender pearls, but a little bit for revenge. They did hit me a few times, but with my diamond armor, I'm just way too strong. I never would have died on day 33 if I just took my time. I'm learning to live with my regrets. Now that it's daytime and I can't murder endermen, I have to figure out something to do, so I rearranged my things. Had a bunch of iron to cook too, might as well do it today. No Enderman. All night. Now what am I gonna do? I can't just stand around, that'd be boring. I got an idea. I guarantee one that you won't see coming. For the last couple of weeks, there's been this cow here. And I'm going to make sure that it stays there forever. It's art. Sad art. But most is. The cow in the box had to watch all of this. <laughs> Alright. Where are you, Enderman? I found several and destroyed them. I have their balls now. And after one more night of taking down Endermen, I should have enough to beat the game. I don't think I'm going to, at least not right now. I'd like to be absolutely as prepared as possible. And you're definitely not prepared if spiders still spawn in your house. What are Ender Balls without the blaze rod? So I went to the nether. These came way easier thanks to my looting three sword. I got 13 in like a minute. So right now, if I wanted to, I could go fight the Ender Dragon. But I'm not going to. I'd rather go apple picking. And by apple picking, I mean deforestation. 
Edition. Golden apples are awesome in this version, and I definitely want a bunch if I'm gonna take on the boss. I also like cutting down trees, not the actual act of it. I'll show you what I mean. I love going back home after a hard day and looking at what used to be a forest. That makes me feel good. Then I bunny hopped across the world, day 77, to my skeleton farm. I want Feather Falling 4. And after getting level 30, I bunny hopped back. Didn't starve this time. Nice! I'm really only gonna get one shot at this, and I lucked out. Feather Falling 4. That alone makes me feel way better about the dragon, but now I want a good bow too. So it's back to the farm. I apologize for not being brave, but it was kinda going slow, and I know this has killed me in the past, but I'm gonna tinker with it. I think half of my issue is I'm just letting light into the spawn room, so I'm gonna try to stop that with a piston. I should have used a sticky piston, I've just never found a slime. It's a little better, but honestly I should have never messed with it in the first place. It took another day, but I got the levels for a bow with infinity. Now I'm definitely ready to fight the dragon. Anything after this is certified stalling. There's a few more achievements to bang out anyway, so I don't think I'll consider this stalling. This though, right here, fishing and taking my sweet time with the commentary. This is definitely stalling. Yeah, yeah, if I sit here... I don't have to do much editing on the video, I can just kind of talk, and you know what? I am your comfort YouTuber, so you like just listening to my voice anyway. It's a win-win. I get an easy day at the office, and you, well, you get me. Now I'm building a rail, it's gotta be 500 meters. To put that in freedom units, that's 2.48548 furlongs. Whoopsie! I skipped a day and now it's all built. But I used all my iron. I don't even have enough for a mine cart, so I've gotta go mining. I dug until I hit the end of the world. That should be enough. While cooking up the iron, I double checked the achievement and I made a mistake. It's gotta go 500 meters in a single direction. My rail goes to the skeleton spawner, which is very useful, but it does have a curve in it. I've gotta change that. So now I've got myself a rail all the way to the mushroom island. Maybe I will build a house here. I rode the rail and got the achievement. Notable. All right, time to use my industrialization and technology for evil. I'm gonna abduct this villager. I know it's kind of pointless, but it kind of isn't 100 days if I don't do it. My original plan was to shove him all the way back to the line. I don't think that's gonna work, though. So I dug a quick tunnel. I'm very powerful. And after a short day of labor, this villager is mine. Yeah, and now that I got him here, I don't even know what to do with him. Oh, he escaped. Get the rope. Ah, see, he was right over there. That's why you need a wall. Fence. Thought about, like, putting him in a glass box or something weird like that, but... What does that even do? Then he fell in my basement and I got inspired. Really, my entire basement needs renovation and I might as well put a room down here for him. Yeah, look at that. No more dirt walls. I could show this off and be proud. Villagers got a little room too. Dirt ceiling. I did my best. I'm not entirely sure if he can open doors, so he may just be stuck there. Whatever. Oh, look at the lapis though. Mmm. I spent the first half of day 91 cleaning up the evidence from my abduction. Can't let the cops find out. And while I was over here, I wanted to see if the rail could go to the skeleton spawner. I am done with the spawner, but if I ever do come back to this world, which could happen, I'll need it. I'm a tiny bit short on iron, which is a bit of a bummer. Ooh, I, don't, I don't really want to go mining, but I want to get this done. <laughs> Skeleton rail is done. This journey used to take six minutes on foot. Now it takes one. And speaking of one, I've got to find one more dog for an achievement. I just ran around the forest. Very scientific. No dog, but I did see a pig on a cliff that could be useful for another achievement. Went back out in the morning to find that pig and there was a dog sitting right there. Two of them, actually. I only need one. Ah, oh, look at this pig. He's perfect. He spawned right where I needed him. And with a friendly punch, I just earned every achievement. Back when I used to play Xbox 360 Minecraft, I never beat the ender dragon, and I think it's because there was no achievement. Anyone else feel the same? I've done basically everything that can be done in Xbox 360 Minecraft, so now the question is, what do I do? A monument. To me. You had to know. I'm just building a giant statue of my Minecraft skin. It's pretty easy. There's like three colors. It's gonna be 99% stone, but still counts as art. I don't care what you think. I love it. One more day of labor and I should be done here. I'd like to point out I'd definitely already be dead if it wasn't for my Featherfall boots. Luke the Faceless. Ugh. I need some black dye. So some squid are going to die. While killing squid, I dropped my sword. And because this is old Minecraft, it sank to the bottom. Totally thought I had respiration three, but that armor was lost when I starved to death. I got my sword, but now I'm drowning and swim very, very slow. 
That was just dumb. Got my stuff back day 98, absolutely panicking the entire time. Gotta fight the dragon in two days, this is not a time for death. Okay, at least I got everything this time, and I'll try not to drown again. And I got the die too, so I was able to finish my face. Somehow, the fact that I died building this monument makes it better. It just dwarfs everything I've built so far. I love it. Last day before the dragon, making sure I've got everything. I pretty much just brewed a few potions. Let's just do it. Day 100, let's fight the dragon. It's a little different from what I'm used to. I completely gambled that this end crystal wouldn't kill me. Luckily, it didn't. It wasn't that bad on a controller, though I am used to it now. I've been doing it for 100 days. And the dragon from a decade ago has AI from a decade ago, so it's really not that bad. I was a bit anxious going in without slow falling potions, but it wasn't an issue. I handled that dragon. Oh, why is it so loud? It doesn't need to be this way! Ah, that's better. The sound of victory. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you'd like to see more, make sure to smash that like button, write a comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Big shout out to all my notable members on screen right now. You're definitely notable. And if you'd like to become one, hit that join button. Thank you all for watching. Please stay notable. And I'll see you in the next video.